Hey traders, Jason from Love It Brothers. Happy Easter weekend. Hope you're doing well. Um, today I'm going to talk about a handful of recent trades. Um, trading has been really good lately. We've gotten some strong moves off the low. Um, first we got a move off the low, then a little a minor dip, and now a continuation of the of the move off the low. Volatility is high, so we're getting some uh, really good moves. Um, in a lot of cases, we can enter trades with you know just. 10 or 20 cent stops and we're getting you know you can get like two or three bucks with and with a cheap stock um, that's huge percentage wise all right so let's go through some trades most of these were profiled at lever brothers at one time or another over the last couple weeks um, and this is just to give you give you an idea of how i operate okay everyone's got to find their own style everyone's got to find their own strategy this is how i operate um, most of the time you will find you know when you're trying to learn how to trade most of the time you're going to find somebody who you know, I, I say a lot of great traders. Traders are a synthesis of like a lot of of a lot of traders, but that doesn't mean you're pulling like a, a little bit from here and a little bit from there. You tend to find one person who really jives with you, and you copy off that person like 80, 85 percent, and then you pull a little nugget from other sources. Um, so this is how I operate. Um, I don't expect you to copy off me, but maybe there's a little nugget or two that you could incorporate into what you're doing maybe it helps refine an entry refine an exit maybe there's an idea that i talk about you're like oh that's that's a good point i want to you know look into that so here we go let's go through some trades that we've had uh over the last week or two mostly the last week all right here is cvx chevron uh obviously Oil was down in the dumps. It's been down in the dumps for a really long time. Wasn't even paying attention to the group. Um, but last week we got a bunch of trades from the oil group. Okay, posted them at Lever Brothers. Um, the group suddenly became really attractive. All right, so we have a big move down. We get a bounce here that gets rejected by the 21 and we come back down. And what happened during when it bounced, the bounce was big enough that we got a MACD cross and then on this subsequent move down it was weak enough that the MACD just simply came down kissed and moved up and this is a this is a setup that I look for all the time on both the hourly chart and um, the daily chart is that some sort of double bottom okay where the first move up crosses the MACD and the second move up only manages to cause the MAC to kiss and then move uh, move up from there. Now, in this case, it would have been nice if we got an, an open like somewhere over here. It came down and tested and it took off, or maybe we just got a flat open. Something came down and tested the low and moved up. Maybe it, you know an open. Get rid of some of these. Maybe an open you know over here, which pushed up, came back down, tested, and then pushed up. Uh, a lot of different scenarios. Unfortunately, we got it just got a gap up. So we got a gap up and then it moved sideways into its eight EMA uh, and then it continued up. So probably not going to nail that move because oil was so weak for so long that it wasn't even on my radar. But once it gaps up and runs and it starts appearing on some leadership um, lists, then suddenly it becomes in play. So what I notice here, okay, so I didn't play the beginning here. What I notice here is we got a negative divergence. Okay, but the stock was able to, the stock was able to hold up. Okay, we got a range here, trend line resistance here. So double bottom, rallies up, trades sideways for several days, consolidates, holds its gains, and then it continues up. And when it continues up, that's when I'm gonna, um, that's when I'm gonna play it. So notice it rode the 21 up here. We have a resistance level up here. So there's entries. Um, and then it continued up, came back down and tested and continued up from there. Okay. In today's market, I play this and then I at least take half profits on the following gap up. Okay. That's happening a lot lately is that you get a decent move one day and then a gap up the next day. And I'm always taking partial profits on the gap. Okay. So I don't play the initial move because it wasn't on my radar. Once it establishes itself at a higher level, then I'm looking to play it. In this case, it opened strong on this day and moved up, established itself at a higher level. It gets support from the 21 EMA on the 60 minute chart, and then it continues on. Here is Halliburton, another uh, oil stock that I played. <clears throat> so we got obviously extremely weak stock, move off the low, crosses the MACD, we get a dip, 
and that dip is weak enough that the MACD continues to trade to trend up. The MACD does not cross back down. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in over here and look for entries because I like how it, you know, the the downtrend is probably open. The MACD crossed up. We come up here. We're basing at a higher level. It's holding the gains, uh, and I'm looking to play a continuation there. So if I zoom in, um, what we got here is like here's that base that I was talking about. The resistance level there is okay that's what I'm looking to play okay prior to that even happening you have negative divergence here which tells you that that bounce the first bounce off the low is going to probably pull back do some backing and filling comes back here forms a base then we get a breakout here which is playable uh, then the stock settles in find some support at the eight there were entries here I played it here towards end of day Okay, because a lot one of the patterns that's been playing out lately is that you get a decent up day and then a gap the next day. Or you get a decent up day, then then you get a trend up day, then a gap. Okay, so there have been a lot of times where I've bought end of day, I'll buy end of day here, then you get a decent up day and the next day gaps up. So that sequence is something that's played out a lot. Okay, so I was buying here under eight towards the end of the day. It gaps up. I take partial profits. Not happy about this, okay, but I held knowing that I already took partial profits and I'm basically break even on my other half of the position. Um, I just held and then obviously I got, I guess, I guess you can say I got lucky because it gapped up and went, for, went up from there. All right, here's Devon, another oil stock. Uh, so, Similar pattern, um, so we have you know this double bottom type formation where the first move crosses the MACD, the second move lacks energy, so the MACD continues to trade up uh, in the upward direction. Um, we have like trend line resistance here, so to me this is great, like double bottom MACD crosses up trend line resistance, so. Uh, when it's when it gets above, let me delete some of these so it's easier to see. Okay, so when it establishes itself up here above the eight EMA, okay, in between the eight and the twenty, that's where I'm going to get interested. So like the first move, I don't I don't get because it just gapped up. I'm mean, like it's on my radar, but it gaps up. But once it establishes itself up here, I'm going to zoom in. I notice support here. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to look for entries either on the hourly chart or maybe the fifteen minute chart. So let's zoom in with the hourly. And here you go. So the trend line resistance is you know, in here. It gaps up. And you can notice, uh, you'll notice it finds pretty decent support here. Um, this is an example of one of those trades where I'll buy one day, you get some a decent follow through day the next day, and then it gaps up. Okay, So I was out over here with part of my position and then I was out with the rest of the position over here because I just didn't it was a big enough gap up that I wasn't gonna let it fill all the way um, so I did not play this move but I got the move in here where I'm buying follow through gap up okay that sequence has played out quite a bit alright here's overstock um, this is the stock we posted I didn't play it but it was still posted um, at Lever Brothers. So what we have here is we have a big move down, big move up, crosses the MACD. This dip here, just simply, we don't really get a kiss, but it's it serves the same thing where the MAC stayed in the crossed up direction. Notice this little base here forming. Okay, so it's looking to play a gap up here and then see what we can get after that. So let's zoom in on the hourly chart. Um, that gap up, not the gap up, but that base here is right here. Okay, unfortunately, we got the gap up, which kind of messes with the chart. So it moves sideways into uh, into the eight. You could play it here. Okay, I don't, I didn't. It gapped up the next day, but then gave it back, and then it ended up doing well overall. Okay, not an easy one. This is definitely one that you could have played and then gotten stopped out of. Um, you know, you could you could have bought here, been happy about the gap up, but then gotten stopped out when it dropped and then been pissed off the next day when it gapped up again. It happens. Um, I didn't play this one, but it was a decent one. Um, all right, let's move on. PHM, uh, Pulte. 
So big move down, we get the same sort of pattern here, double bottom, first move up cross, a second move, you get a kiss here, and then it expands as soon as it starts expanding, like over here on this gap up, I'm gonna zoom in, 60 minute chart, 50 minute chart, look for an entry, okay? So first of all, let's go through a few things here. Um, so first of all, on the way up, you had negative divergence here, so you kind of knew that this bounce, uh, well, even even back before that, uh, I, I guess I can go back even a couple weeks. Um, this wasn't the trade from last week, but it was it, it, it was something that played out. You get the double bottom, gets rejected by the 21 here. You get a cross up here, then you get a kiss here. So that's 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 my that's one of my favorite setups is double bottom where you get the cross and then the kiss. Uh, stock moves up, you get a negative divergence. Stock pulls back. Now you get a positive divergence here at the bottom. Stock gaps up here. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. I mean, it's, it drop, 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 drop. Positive divergence, gaps up. Um, as I said before, it'd be nice if it gapped up to here, came down and tested and went, or you know, gapped up to here, pushed higher, came down and you know, tested something, tested something, and then went. Unfortunately, it just kind of gapped up and went. Um, so I zoom in here, see, you know, this is a 60 minute chart. Sometimes I look at the 15, sometimes the five. I'm looking for an entry in here, knowing that, you know, stock pulled back, positive divergence, and I think trend is gonna reassert itself up. It's just a matter of getting a decent entry. Okay, so there are entries here, then it gaps up again, moves sideways into moving averages, and then it rides the um, 8 EMA up. And then you get a gap up here, which I, you know, in this environment, pretty much all gap ups are used uh, to take partial profits. A couple more here, um, Red Rocks. So same type of setup, big move down, the move up, crosses, gets rejected by the 21, dips back down, MACD stays above in the crossed up direction, then it starts to expand, you get a bigger candle there, and gap up there, so zoom in. Um, so here's a 60 minute chart. So for starters, you get a positive divergence, okay? You get a cross. When it gaps up here, I'm zooming in, looking for entries. Um, and you can see, you know, moved up, jockeyed around for a couple hours, trended up. Then you get the gap up, which I would use to sell, which I would use to take partial profits. And then it comes down here, does a double bottom, uh, double touch on the 21, and then it continues up. Um, and we've got another gap up and run. Okay, so in a lot of these cases, you can look at uh, you know a move like this, and but there's a lot of gaps, and I'm, I'm most of the time I'm looking to play. You get a you get a move up one day, you get an entry, and then you either get a gap up the next day or you get a trend up and then a gap up the, the following day. So of of like this entire move, I'm just looking to make like a chunk in the middle. That's all I'm looking for. And because of the volatility, that chunk in the middle could be 15, 20 percent. All right, last chart, Twilio. Big move down. Um, big move up, which crossed the MACD. Got perched up here. Okay, there were entries to go long. Stock gaps down. Got to get out immediately. Stock pulls back. You get a kiss here, but then it starts to, ex you know, stock charts starts to expand off of uh, off the MACD and starts to reassert itself. So we zoom in here. Let's see what's going on. Um, so on the so on the hourly chart, if we can back up a little bit, you got negative divergence here. Or, yeah, negative divergence here. Stock pushes continues to push higher as the MACD was going down. So that's a definite sell signal if you're long. Okay, I didn't go short, but this is a sell signal if you're going long. Then at the bottom, you got positive divergence, positive divergence. MACD crosses, stock gaps up. Um, and this is one of those things where stock gapped up here, trended up, and then gaps up the next day. So there's your partial partial uh, profits. One scary hour here, but then it, it recovers, and then it rides the eight all the way up. Okay, so my style is just keep it simple. MACD, MACD histogram, a few moving averages. Um, you know, looking to play a reversal, looking to play a, a continuation within a, within a trend. 
All right, so most of these stocks came from beaten down groups. Okay, it shows the benefit of not having a strong opinion. Just trade the charts, okay? Trust your signals. You'll have losers, but if you play good defense, the winners will more than make up for it. Okay, oftentimes you can get entries you know, with, with a stop that's only 15, 20 cents away. And because of today's volatility, the upside could be two or three points, which in some cases is like 20, 30%. Okay. So thanks for listening. You can follow my YouTube channel um, by clicking the red subscribe button. And while you're sitting at home, take my mini masterclass in trading. It's free. There's a link below. All right. See you next time.